Hey peeps, it's Triple L, and today I'm here to talk to you about The Seven Deadly Sins, Chapter 185, Pride versus Charity. And we're just gonna do impressions because, oh my god, Escanor. Oh man, this chapter, Escanor's moment in the sun where he just decides that he is the law. And... Oh, you know, it was just exciting to see this chapter. It was a roller coaster for me because we started off the chapter. Esther Rosa was showing off why he was to be feared. Esther Rosa was showing off that if it was a normal opponent, he would have had the advantage. But Escanor, that, okay, the cut to the farmers working their land, working on their sheep. And they're talking about how it's almost noon, that they're not going to get this work done before noon. That was the line. That was when I knew, okay, good, this is not over. Escanor still has it in him. Doesn't matter if he gets full countered. Doesn't matter if his son gets swallowed. Escanor's power is not decreasing. So, when I get the confirmation in that panel where they say that the sun is it's still got more than an hour till the sun, or more than an hour and a half till noon, I'm just thinking to myself, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, and sure enough, they also have that little, that little line about no matter where you are, the sun's always going to be beating down back at you. I'm just thinking Escanor, man, and I see Escanor, he's getting powered up, Esther Rosa's freaking out, because at this point, Escanor is beyond human comprehension, he's beyond demon comprehension. When Escanor goes into his spiel about my mighty attacks cannot reach thee, and who decided that? Esther Rose is still freaking out. He's like, wow, Frick, I didn't see him attack. My blazing sun was swallowed up by a speck of darkness. And who decided that? His muscles are bulging. His tone is changing. And then finally, he pulls out that gigantic sun. And Esther Rosa is messed up. Esther Rose is freaked out. And Escanor just delivers that line. The only one who gets to decide such things is me. It's, it's great. It was a great moment. And then when you see... Zeldris actually concerned for Esther Rosa and trying to go in there to save him. That's usually the cue that something bad's about to happen to a character. And man, I'm actually pretty happy it's Esther Rosa. So with this, Escanor is effectively establishing that he is the law as long as the sun is up. And his pride knows no bounds. So you know, that's all cool and that's incredibly awesome. That's a very hype worthy moment. I'm hyped. I'm so excited to see what happens next week. Overall, I really do think that for the next hour, all of the actual Ten Commandments have to get out of there. There is just no way they're going to be able to compete with Escanor unless they have a specific magic ability that can nullify Escanor's magical ability. And the chances of that happening, well, it's pretty high. And even in this chapter, we saw that Esther Rosa still did actually have tricks up his sleeve. He still did have that flame that could consume damage, that could restore his face, that could heal him. And that's all very interesting. It did show that Esther Rosa was a capable fighter. And if it was anyone other than Escanor, someone whose power is not dependent on himself, but rather the sun... It would have been a pretty bad situation. But because Escanor, we get that awesome shot of Esther Rosa just freaking out. And I really like that shot. I like that shot because it's a lot of weakness. So anyway, next week's chapter is going to be titled The Battle for the Defense of Leones. It shouldn't be a battle now that Escanor is there. And now that we have the confirmation that it's not noon yet. Because that means for the next hour, Escanor has every right to just go out and curb stomp any of the commandments are in that area will it happen well that's actually kind of hard to say but it's pretty exciting i think the next the important thing is going to be finding out whether or not esther rosa is alive next week now why might i think he is alive or might he might be he might be saved it's because he did have that moment with elizabeth at the very beginning of the arc in elizabeth's dream because of that moment i have to assume that he has a bit more plot significance so he might not be wiped out by Escanor here. But at the same time, I think he's already kind of... Maybe he's fulfilled his role in the story as far as Meliodas' foil. 
but it's still pretty hard to tell what's going to happen because we just don't know if any of the other Ten Commandments have a magical power that can nullify Escanor. But overall, man, it's a really exciting chapter. It is just a battle chapter, but if anything, it's just a good showcase chapter for what Escanor is when he's getting closer to that sun. One thing of note, though, is that when Escanor is powering up and Esterosa is pointing out that his allies are going to get hurt, Escanor still has the sense to ask Bond if the lake that he knows of is where he thinks it is. Because that at least shows to me that Escanor at the end of the day, even though he is so proud of himself, he does still care about his comrades. And it's pretty dangerous the way that the author is kind of balancing the idea of pride with compassion for other people. Because it doesn't seem to conflict. Rather, he's using his pride. His pride is something completely different, completely separate from his feelings for his comrades. And that's a very interesting concept. I do kind of want to see Escanor's mentality when he's in like proud mode a bit more explored. I want to see him interact with the other, uh, the other sins, apologies, when he's in this kind of state. Because I kind of want to see what proud Escanor would say to someone like Meliodas or King or Merlin, even though we've kind of seen that interaction before. So in that regard, I think that was a nice touch. Him tossing Esterosa into the lake and Esterosa getting like burnt by the cruel sun. That was a nice touch. Pride Flare, awesome. Escanor, freaking awesome. It was a fun chapter. I really liked it. That's what I'm going to say about this chapter. Uh, peeps, let me know what you thought. Really, this is just a showcase chapter. It's really just showing off that Escanor is the law as long as the sun is up. And that no one, no one should get in his way. And we know that his tone is changing as the sun continues its ascent into the sky. So I'm really wondering how, how, what is Escanor's pinnacle at this point? How scary is Escanor? I'm so excited. I want to see that next week. But okay, peeps, let me know how excited you were for this chapter. And I guess till next time, you know, have a good day. This was a fun chapter.